Now the first step is to add dash force dash D3 D12 to launch option. Now for this, go to the launcher and or you can simply go to the game installation folder and then you can click on this three horizontal lines and then go to game settings. Now click on open a directory. Now over here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then copy this location. Here you can see location. So copy this complete location. Now once you copy it, now go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop and then select new and then click on shortcut. Now over here you can paste the location. Now over here, give a backward slash, type in backward slash. Now after the backward slash, now type in zenless zone zero and then dot exe dot exe and then put a inverted comma so we have to close this with inverted comma so go to start and then put inverted comma over here and at the end also after you type in backward slash zenless zone 0.exe close the inverted comma and then give one space now after one space you can type in this that is force dash force dash d3 d12 and then you can click on next and then keep it like this zenless zone 0 and then click on finish now once the shortcut is created over here now you can make a double click and then try to launch the game from here and the game should launch successfully so over here you can see the game is launching so that should work let me close the game for now now it's still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia but before that if you're using intel graphic card in that case you can use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can open google chrome or you can open any browser and in google search you can type in intel driver and support assistant and then go to intel website and then click on download now and run this exe file agree install accept click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now click on launch and once it is launched it will search for any update if there is any update for the graphics you can click on download all and let the download complete now once the download is complete you will see install option So once this download is 100% complete, you can install all the driver from here. And then once it is installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now for NVIDIA card, you can go to NVIDIA website. For AMD card, you can go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. And then for product type, for me, it's GeForce. So let's select GeForce. Now select your series. Make sure that you select the right series as per your graphic card. For me, it's 30 series. Now select your graphic card over here. Make sure that you select your graphic card. Now if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And then select Game Ready Driver over here. And then click on Search. And then click on Download. And again, click on Download on this page. And once the download is 100% complete, you can run this file. And now once you run this file, you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a, put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once this is inst once the installation is complete, restart your computer and then check. Now the next step is to 
run the game on dedicated graphic card so if you have nvidia or amd in that case you can type in graphic settings and then go to graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game installed in c drive open c drive program files epic games open the game folder open the games folder over here and then open this folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance over here now click on save and then launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder and then check so you can click on this three horizontal lines game settings and then click on open directory and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click over here try launching the game if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work you can also put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to repair the game files to repair the game files you can go to the launcher and then click on this three horizontal lines and then click on repair now and then click on start repair and once the repair is complete you can launch the game and then check next step is to check for game update so you can click on these three horizontal lines once again and then click on check for update if there is any update update it and then launch the game next step is to clear download resource cache now for this go, click over here go to game settings and then go to advanced settings over here you can see clear downloaded resource cache click on it then confirm now once you see successfully cleared now you can launch the game and then check next step is to now, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, you will, you will have an option update and security in case of Windows 10. So click on privacy and security or update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so open c drive or wherever you have installed the game program files epic games open the game folder open this games folder and then open this folder select the game exe file and then click on open once it is added again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then you can open the game folder and add all these exe files so select everything and click on open so select everything and add it now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse so add all these exe files so add everything over here all these exe files and then click on open once you add everything now you can launch the game and then chill now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner revert you know or any kind of overclocking application close it and then launch the game so restart epic games launcher and then you can after you close the overclocking application you can restart epic games launcher so first of all uh, you can exit and once you close all the overclocking application restart epic games launcher and then check also if you have any kind of third party application running you can close it 
now if you have any third part like any external devices so if you have these devices connected to the computer disconnect it any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it sometimes we have additional controller connected disconnect it try launching the game on single monitor also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close it if you have geforce experience running you can close it so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of third party services or application running you can close it including all your browsers also if you have underworked computer remove the underworld and then launch the game perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure you put a check over here first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 so you have to download download and install both these files so click on it and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well make sure both are installed both x86 and x64 so once this is this download is complete you can run it run it click on it and if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install and once both the files are installed restart your computer you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game so now run this x64 file and then again if you see repair click on repair if you see install click on install and let the installation complete once this is done now you can restart your computer once the once the installation is complete then you can check restart your computer and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 
फोर नाइन वन फाइव वन फाइव टू नाउ क्लिक ऑन सेट ओवर हियर देन क्लिक ऑन ओके ओके अप्लाई ओके ओके नाउ रीस्टार्ट कंप्यूटर मेक श्योर दैट यू रीस्टार्ट यू कंप्यूटर आफ्टर दिस नाउ द लास्ट स्टेप इज टू अनइंस्टॉल एंड रीइंस्टॉल द गेम टू डिफरेंट ड्राइव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अनइंस्टॉल द गेम एंड देन आफ्टर यू अनइंस्टॉल द गेम go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if you have installed the game to another drive like d drive or e drive any external drive you can uninstall the game and then delete the game folder and then reinstall the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel